Hey guys, it is Mike from UyghurTech.com and today I am doing a tutorial for Wild Academy subscribers. If you are not yet subscribed, please click that subscribe button and you will get access to a ton of amazing videos from Wild Academy. Today I am doing video number five in a 10 part video tutorial series on GIMP. And today I'm gonna to show you how to put a nice vignette effect on any photo that you do all with GIMP. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do with GIMP open is we're gonna open the image that we want to edit. So I just have a nice photo right here. And sometimes it, the nice feature right here that it brings up is that it'll auto rotate photos for you if it thinks it needs rotation, this one did. So this is a nice little photo of me and my fiance here. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna select the area that we wanna make the vignette. So a nice little border. So you can really do it however you want. So we're gonna go over and click on the selection tool and we're gonna come back over here and just make a nice little rectangle. You're gonna see it might cut out some of my hair, that's fine. So we'll make it just like that, that looks okay. And so the next step is adding the quick mask feature. So you can use this in a lot of different ways, but today we're gonna to use the quick mask in order to make the vignette. So it's in this bottom left-hand corner right here of the image, and if you click it, you'll see that that area has turned red, and that's exactly what we wanted. So now you could do just a square vignette, but a lot of times we want to have a nice little blur effect. We want to kind of just gradually build into the image. So we're gonna do that in a few quick uh, steps here. We're gonna to go to filters first, and we're gonna to go to distort, and we're gonna go into waves. And let's see here, we can adjust these, make them a little higher waves, and we'll click okay. So now you can see that the quick mask has a wave effect around the outside, but there's still kind of harsh edges on those waves. So we're gonna do it. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna to go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur. We've used that in the past tutorials, and we'll just accept the standard settings, and we'll click OK. So now it is a nice soft edge kind of wave border that we have. So the next step is we need to actually make the quick mask a selection so we can change it. So we're gonna go down here, we're just gonna click the quick mask button again. And what you see is gonna happen is now we have it selected. But what we actually have selected is the inside. So anything on that inside is selected. But what we wanna do is make a border around it. So we need to invert what we've selected. We wanna select the exact opposite. We wanna select the outside. So what we do is we go up to select and we go to invert. And now you can see that there are little tiny dots around the very outside of the image. That tells us that we have the border selected. So now we have a nice border selected and all we have to do now is if we go to edit and if we go to fill with background color. Now before you do this, I'll just kind of show you. Anytime you're in GIMP, the foreground color is this top triangle right here on the left and the background color is the back one. So if we fill it with background color, it's gonna be filled with white, which is what we want. So if we go to edit, fill with background color. It added a nice little white vignette effect. And so if we go to select and we go to none to get rid of those dotted lines, that is what it looks like. That is our finished product right there. It's a nice little vignette effect. And when you do the filter and distort, you don't have to do waves. I kind of decided, I did it because I like the way it looks, but you can really choose any sort of filter you want, or you could just do the blur to have a nice soft edged rectangle. It's whatever you really want to do. The waves adds a little nicer effect, but right there we have a nice little image with the vignette effect. And the final step as always would be to go to file, export, and we would export it out and we would have a final finished project JPEG or whatever type of file type that you are going to be using. So that was a quick tutorial on how to add the vignette effect. My name is Mike Weger. I am from WegerTech.com. Click the link in the description below and you can see all of my content. Over on my page, I do things like other tech tutorials and I also do a weekly live tech show called Open Mic Night where you guys get the latest in tech news that happened in the last week. Thank you guys for watching. Again, subscribe to Wild Academy for all the great videos, but until I see you guys next time, tech on.